We're hopping mad with excitement about RuneScape's excellent Easter event this month. Lumbridge will be chock-a-block with excitement that you should definitely check out. We've also got some exceptional quality of life improvements to the clan systems, an extraordinary evolution of Victor Trader, some exquisite changes to mini quests, and some explosive oddments tweaks. Yolks aside, let's stop rabbiting on and take a look. Time for the Easter time fate, and Lumbridge and Gillinor's guilds have turned up to show off their assorted and sometimes peculiar wares. Tasks in this temporary Easter quest include cooking a cake pie for the Chef's Guild, helping the Crafting Guild decorate an elaborate ornate egg, and creating Sword Shakuna for the Fishing Guild. Sword Shakuna, in case you didn't know, consists of a tuna inside a swordfish inside a shark. Borderline inedible, questionably unethical. Players can find the Easter time fate in the Lumbridge Crater area from April the 15th. As excited as the Easter Bunny is about the fate, he's also a little worried. Some previously undiscovered hidden eggs have hardened and crystallized over time. Should they be discovered by the fine people of Gillinor and subsequently chewed, then a wide ranging toothy calamity could result. Once all the pieces have been gathered together to form a giant egg, the Easter Bunny will do its fine and decrystallize it, creating a small trove of goodies for all to enjoy. Avoiding dental catastrophe is also a wonderful opportunity to support two very worthwhile charities. Money raised from purchasing chocolate fragments during the event will go to our partner charities, CPSL Mind and The Prince's Trust. Avoiding dental catastrophe kicks off on April the 15th. This month we'll see a number of tweaks and fixes rolled out to the clan system, including a refresh for the clan info interface, broadcasts to celebrate anniversaries, and more detailed information about the requirements of joining a clan, as well as lots of other UI tweaks and improvements. There will also be improvements to the clan chat. The clan changes will arrive on April the 29th. Vix getting personal. For the price of one bond, players will be able to buy a summoning stone. Once acquired, it can then be activated for one hour, throughout which Vic can be summoned as many times as you like. Furthermore, this time is paused if you happen to log out. Players will be able to head into the Bonds interface and grab the new portable trader package between April the 23rd and May the 26th. Judge a quest by its size, do you? Well, you shouldn't, and in recognition of how much we all love RuneScape's mini quests, we're adding them to the game's main quest list on April the 8th. Joining them on the quest list are, of course, the five Fremnic Sagas. We're going to be giving the Oddman store a little refresh on April the 8th. New prizes will be added, such as the Solite and Lunite armor and weapons, and a couple are being removed, which are the Ninja Trading and Deathbeard's Demise. There are ghastly matters afoot in Solomon's general store this month. The Risen, a fallen warrior mage that met its gruesome end in the swamps of Mortmire, has returned to claim its kingdom once again. The Risen will be available to buy from April the 8th. That's your feel for this month. Have a good Easter, everybody, and we'll see you in May. <laughs>